The Substance Abuse Advisory Council Secretariat is thankful for the donation of the Nicotine Replacement Therapy, or NRTs, by the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO. NRTs deal specifically with the physical dependence aspect of habitual tobacco use and provide an individual who is quitting the use of tobacco products with a step-down approach for adjusting to withdrawal from nicotine. This is done by providing reduced and controlled dosages of nicotine through a therapeutic method, usually in the form of gum, patches, sprays, inhalers, or lozenges. It may seem to some that nothing is happening and things aren't moving, but the needle has been moved gradually mm. over time. We have known that in 2017, we had the placement of the uh, alerts on our cigarette packages, which is one of the compliance requirements for the FCTC, the Framework Convention on Tobacco Control. We have also had the introduction of uh, a cohort of persons trained to provide guidance and support to individuals who would like to transition from dependence on tobacco use. In 2021, we had WHO recognize in St. Lucia for our gains with tobacco control as in 2020, we passed our policy and legislative framework for the prevention of smoking in public spaces, which was regarded as very progressive for the Caribbean, for a developing state, and something that we need to applaud. A 2019 step survey undertaken in St. Lucia indicated that the age group with the highest prevalence of tobacco use was between 18 and 44 years. The data also noted an increase in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, especially in young males who have become oxygen dependent. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar George said the impact of tobacco use is noted on many levels, with health being one of them both personal and in general. Many users are not able to work, reduce productivity due to their reduced lung function and oxygen dependence, reduce quality of life as well. We look at the cost of the health system for the oxygen concentrators, which we had to actually develop a program to reduce the number of admissions at the hospital where we make the oxygen concentrators available to patients for use at home. PAHO's country program specialist, Mr. Ronald Hewitt said Power was pleased to donate the NRTs to the government and people of St. Lucia. Today, this donation was made possible through Ms. Henry, as was said earlier, and Dr. Amalia Del Rego is pleased to be part of this initiative. And as we hand over these NTR, NRTs, it is just a part of the measures that we consider important to wean pieces or to help them to relieve themselves of this dependence on nicotine. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Ms. Jenny Daniel, said she welcomes the collaborative support to St. Lucia in its commitment to strengthening the health system and the national health profile. We are looking forward to the impact of the nicotine replacement therapy in helping us in our battle to do so. In recent years, through the leadership and program, leadership and program implementation of the Ministry of Health, and our other ally agencies, St. Lucia has demonstrated its commitment to achieving the objectives of the FCTC, with significant milestones being achieved in recent years. Chairperson of the Tobacco Cessation Committee, Dr. Delvina Venner, said St. Lucia has been making targeted efforts to reduce the prevalence of non-communicable diseases, which in recent years has been the major cause of death. Smoking has long been established as a major risk factor for the development of almost all chronic conditions, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, chronic respiratory disease, and others. It significantly decreases life expectancy and is complicit in six of the eight leading causes of death worldwide. Currently, SACS runs a number of educational and sensitization initiatives such as the Tobacco Cessation Program and the Building Resilience for Drug Prevention Program, which form part of a wider non-communicable disease program. From the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Julita Peter reporting.